presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope I've been having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. And for us traders, it's a three day holiday. holiday. I love these things. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can get many ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 100, NASDAQ off 85, S&P's off 12, gold contract down 590, traded at 18.96 an ounce. You got silver. Up three cents, twenty-three dollars ninety cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up forty cents, ninety-one dollars thirty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up seven six, trading one twenty-six twenty. The thirty-year bond up a full point, plus one tick at one fifty-three. Flat king dollar. King dollars up two hundred and sixty-three ticks, trading ninety-six zero six three. Euro one thirteen, yen one fifteen point zero seven. The British pound one thirty-five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. It was called, folks. One that's going on in your world in the world of the S and P's. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Okay, so we got option expiration happening. It's not quad. So the bottom line is that you'll, you'll get volume, but you're not going to get a huge amount of volume. Okay, so let's get this active contract up. We'll go intraday. My take is that we're going to run into the close, meaning run higher into the close, folks. So let's see what we got. We got down to 41.21. We got, oh, this, this, here we go. Yep, here we go. We got an ABC up. I love it. Okay, so B point 374, A point 321. Sweet. Okay, so you got a, uh, what's that? 50, 50, what did I say? 3, 374, yeah. 54. That gives us, uh, hey, this is going to be interesting, man. That's fine. That's wild. Hold on one second. Let me make sure I get that right. 374, the low, yeah, 321. Holy cow, man. This has some range. That, you know what that's saying, folks? That's saying that this, that this ABC, whether it's today or on Monday, this say, ABC is saying that we're going to 4,400 inside that uh, the S&P. NQ. So let's take a look at the NQ, see if they, they line up. Because what we've done is this. You're coming down to the low end. You have tremendously lighter volume. We had it yesterday. It looks like we're even going to have lighter volume today. And that sets up a bounce when the whole world probably is shot in this thing right now and worrying. And guess what? The, the world is an engine, folks. Okay, so. Yep, it's an ABC. Okay, this is a big one. 136. Well, actually, that's 14,136. 13,000. 900, so it's 246, 246 A to B, 288. So we're at 14,102, 14,288 is the number. So this is how this works, folks, okay? So, you know, <laughs> you get a picture, man. When I've looked at these 10 minute charts, okay, I'm, I'm going on now, I'm like, oh my God, I can't even think about how many years. Bottom line, it goes like this. 
When you get an ABC structure like this, right, we have plenty of time that that could fulfill today. If we don't, this is something to keep in mind on Monday, so uh, Tuesday. So let's picture, uh, picture that you don't get it today. And then picture on Tuesday that what has happened, if you look at this S&P or you look at the NASDAQ, and it actually gets under the B point. The bottom line, folks, is the buy. Um, that's one scenario. It goes like that. The, the other scenario is that we just get it right now. They just run it right into the close. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. We'll, if we go through the indices, what you're going to see is this. We look at the SPY. You're going to see the SPY here. We've done 88 million shares. Now it's taking the swing point out of 123. That's on Monday. If it can't even get more shares than that, that isn't what you're going against. What you're going against is you're going against 252 million shares. So thus far, you get a rejection of lower price. You'd want the SPY to close inside of 435.34. Right now, we're 30 cents above it. We look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX? Three Qs. We bring the three Qs up. Monday, we had 80 million. You're at 61. That can do 80 million. We'll see whether it, you know, it does it or not. That being said, you're still going into 199 million. You're going into 106. That's telling me that guess what? Qs are even going topside. Gold. Gold contract here. This isn't a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. You blew away the B point yesterday. You blew it away with volume. Let me pull this up. There you go. Okay, you're going to see the B point on gold was uh, 1881. We had 215,000 contracts. We blew that away yesterday with 260. That is 101 A to B, which gets you a price projection of 1946. What's going to be intriguing now with the gold market is this. And this is how deviant gold is sometimes. So we'll see. We'll see whether well, the run's just going to keep going or, in fact, will the dollar basically try to get higher again. Right now it's up 273. You know, it's held price out here today. So it's like, okay, it wants to go to the top of 96.45. We'll see how that shakes out. If, if gold, well, you get two different things. Of course, A to B equals C to D. Most a ABC structures are straight line moves on the way up. If it turns into a complex ABC, what happens is that it'll pull back with lighter volume. What ends up then is that it'll go under the B point, setting up a complex ABC structure on the way up, and then you go topside in a monster way. Now, either way, it's a, it's a cool setup. Notes and bonds, whole different ball game, folks. Notes and bonds out here. We take a look at notes and bonds. You got notes and bonds, a building cause for lower price. You take a look at this note and bond market right now, you get the 10 year up eight ticks. You have 1.5 million contracts traded. You know, it hasn't tested these lows yet with uh, 3.1 million contracts traded. So bottom line, this is more than likely, yeah, I can see the bond market maybe getting to 127. That's the 10 year, but notes and bonds went lower price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 110, NASDAQ down 96, SPs off 14. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is off 121. Nasdaq's off 108. S&Ps are off 15. Let's go take a look at uh, a couple of these hard-hit uh, equities out here today. Uh, so Roku. Roku are down 33 bucks. No doubt, ABC structure down. Blowing away a B point. Let's see if we got it on a weekly, too. You do have it on a weekly. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So you got, let's see what we got here. So you got... That's 238. Oh, man. It's 100.8 to B. That means Roku is going to $77. This is pretty intense. No, it's not capital. <laughs> it's not even close. Um, that, that, you know, it's an exhaustion gap in the way down. It's not. Well, my take is it's not. Okay. Uh, bottom line, you got an ABC down to 77 bucks. So let's find 77 bucks. Well, Let's see, we'll put this on a weekly, we'll bring this, put this on a monthly, actually. That low is 58. Well, the, the, next, the, the next low is 58 bucks. So, 78 is the A to B equals C to D. Roll of bucks. Let's, let's take a look at this. This is, uh, this one's down 479. This is an ABC down. Man, there's ABC downs all over the place. You know, you know what's happening, folks, which is pretty amazing, is that I was talking about this yesterday, that plenty of the um, equities have actually <laughs> gone down 30, 40, 50 percent, as the indices hasn't, but there's plenty of them that have. So this one here, the most conservative way of doing it would be 90, 53, so is it 90 flat, 90, 31. So 40, let's say 46 bucks. Oh man, that's $27. This wants to go to 27. Okay, let's find out where 27 is. Whoa, 27 is a lot lower. That poor Kathy Woods is gonna get smoked, man. Let's see the issue information. I see, so this was a spark. And I forget what price I just said. Bottom line is that this is going a lot lower. Whew. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. You got, uh, and there's going to be a low volume market out here today. Advanced Micro's up 226. Roku's down 34. You got uh, Facebook's off a buck. Lucid's off a buck and a half. You got Cisco up 175. PayPal is uh, up 131. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got uh, Earl from Seminole. Hey, Earl, what's going on? Oh, yeah, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, doing wonderful. Cool, man. Cool. 
You sound good. I like that. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> So we're gonna yeah, look at like Vista. That. I know you follow uh, VGC, and oh, yeah. uh, I'm in it. Uh, what's your take? Well, you got you know you, you can you can. <laughs> my take is that it wants to go to 145 right now. You know, like the. I the, agree. That the problem is <laughs> why isn't it there? I mean, it seems like they put you know everything in place, but guess what? We still don't have enough buyers. You know, but uh, the the 145 is sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, we got, what we did do is this, the, last week we got some good volume, 1.8 million, this week it's 1.4, we need like 2.5 million per week though, that's how this is shaking out. So, it looks to me it's going to take longer, you know, to get what we need out of this thing. Um, and if you're not familiar well, with this... Well, you know that they've had some real good news too. I, that's, and that's, to me... That's like problematic. That's saying, hey, why hasn't it gone? Like my son would say, this is what, here, so check this out, because there's so much that's real about this. It's like, you know, we, we have conversations. He says, hey, okay, hey, man, look, at, they only have a market cap of 96 million. You know, the bottom line is that we know that when I had Fred on, you're talking about billions that they can make if they get this mine built, and they have all the licenses. So what is the problem? And that's really real. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a believer. Trust me. I'm, I'm an investor. I'm going to stay investor because I'm a believer in the deal. So, um, you know, and, and I kn I've known how it trades. That's how it trades. And that, but then when it moves, it moves in, in a spectacular way. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, we'll see how it goes, man. Yeah. Well, I bought some puts, so. You bought well, I puts? I mean, I sold some puts. I don't mean I bought some. I sold some. You know, oh, this is so interesting. So, so watch this. So I got to tell you, oh, man, this is sick. So what? listen to this, folks, okay? So, oh, look at this. Oh, my God, I got him. So I brought up this today, and what was, what was happening with Vista is that they never had dollar puts or calls. And, <laughs> Earl, I was figuring this out this morning, and I was thinking, you know what? If you, I've, I was doing the numbers. If I put $6,000 into a um, dollar... The June dollar calls, you could get a million shares. So it's like, okay, man, six thousand dollars, and if they go to one forty-five, you'd make three hundred ninety grand. It's like, okay, yeah. yeah. But I suspect what would happen, folks, is this: is that they're not liquid. But this just happened. They they, they never had dollars. I'm not quite sure what happened. I haven't pulled this up for three or four months, you know. But I pulled it. I just did these numbers this morning myself because I'm saying to myself because my take is that whether. Gold is going to be a complex ABC, or it's just going to go right now. Either way, my take is that we are going up to that uh, 1950 area. So, you know. So I you agree. sold the dollar I agree puts. With is, you, that, brother. That's, is that what you did? You sold the dollar puts, right? I actually sold the 250 puts. Oh, my God. What did you get for them? That's sick. I got a buck and a half. What? Yes. That's wild, man. Okay. Man. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. I see it. Holy cow. This is weird, man. Man, you just scored beyond belief. Yep. And if you, I, if I you're looking at my, my homework, and I'm a believer. Look, look at this, folks. If you're watching my screen right now, you see this right over here? So this yeah. is this is amazing, actually, man. That, that that's the trade, man. So look at this, folks. This is a a March two fifty put. They're asking one twenty five. They're uh, offering one seventy five. Well, two of them got sold at one fifty four. I mean, that's me. I love it, man. That's insane. You are so cool. That's unbelievable, man. What a trade that is. <laughs> You know, it's so cool. Oh, my God. That's sick, man. Wow. That is so. So you split the. Let me ask you something, Earl. When you did, when you put that in, when you split it, right? So what he did, folks, is this. This is really cool. He split the bid and offer, and he sat there. How long did you have to sit there before they filled it? They, they did it in five minutes. Okay, that's cool to know. Okay. Wow. That's a great trade, man. <laughs> that is sick. Thanks, Tommy. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. F folks, Thank you. check check this out. What are the odds, right? I, this is I'm telling you, this is why 
you got to love life. What are the odds, right, that Earl calls, right? I turned around, pulled these up this morning. I did the math on them this morning. I'm saying to myself, you know what? You know, this might not be a bad trade. 6000 for 340000 whatever. If it, and that would be if it reached dollar forty-five, right? And then Earl calls and because, it, because his trade is better. Just so you get something straight. That is a better trade, okay? <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. And some tigers would say, yeah, you should have got more money. Bottom line, this is an illiquid market. When you can, when you can get a dollar fifty-four for something that's trading eighty-two, and you own the stock, he owns the stock too. That's like heaven. You're getting, you're getting. It's amazing. They're gonna have to pay you two fifty. Plus, you just got one fifty-four. Fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with. Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's down 226. Nasdaq's off 160. S&P's are off 30. So when I just talk on Earl, folks, okay, I was wrong in the context. When he sold puts, not selling calls. So when he's selling puts, what happened is that Vista Gold's trading at 82 cents. He's actually has a synthetic long at 77 cents. That's how that works. I was thinking he was selling calls. I'm saying to myself, that, that, that's why I couldn't even, it was blowing my mind, actually. But it's still a synthetic call um, at 77 cents instead of 82. You know, so the bottom line is that it's not bad, no doubt. Let's go take a look at this market. Uh, it's going down, down, down. That being said, you got a half hour. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So... Yeah, it just pulled back to, I suspect it's still going to try to get higher. Because what you have here, so this, yes, this is the S&P on a 10-minute. 
And you can see we have a high bar. Well, we know we have a high bar because it's an ABC up. So this is kind of the, the setup even on, a, on for, for Tuesday morning. We'll see where it goes. But this is the setup because you do have a ABC structure on the way up right now. Okay, so let's go to the XLF. We get a couple questions about the XLF. Um, okay, so you're coming down with light volume. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, to me, this XLF wants to test that high volume low. You get a high volume low that is laying down there at uh, 36.82, and I suspect that's going to get tested. That's a lot of volume down there, 544 million. That's how that seems to be setting up. The uh, let's go to Amazon. Take a look at Amazon out here. Amazon right now, that has pulled back to its strength from uh, 3,013. We get to 3,017. It rejected it. This, I suspect that on Amazon, this this thing's going to get filled. This, there's a gap. There's a gap that's way too big. You know, I suspect that's going to get filled. Let, let's talk about the overall market right now, though, because this is it's real possible that I'm going to bring this up and we'll put this on, I'm just going to put this on a year weekly. So when you put it on a year weekly, it looks to me, and it will be interesting to see, okay, is this the consolidation that we're going to be dealing with? So the consolidation would be, watch this, this is kind of cool. Okay, so the bottom of the consolidation would be the 42.22. That brings it back to May of 2021, okay? Um, you know, that's where we could be at, folks. You know, that's a 15% hit. We could mess around, you know, a year, year and a half. I know that sounds like a long time, but the reality is, is that, you know, for the amount of acceleration on the way up, it's real possible. If that's not the case, then what you have to do is take the ABC structure down. And that would be uh, 600 A to B, and that would get you a 3,900. And you can see 3,900 is, uh, you get 4,000 as a swing point. You know? So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. What we have had, though, there's no doubt you've had a huge amount of equities that are down in a monster way, not in a small way. I mean, you're talking about big numbers. NVDA. They've been getting, not, not NVIDIA in general, but I'm just talking about equities in general. And NVIDIA, that's, that's breaking a swing today with volume. Yeah, you get 60 million, you get 67 million. That's saying we'll see whether uh, this 233 can hold. Because what happened here is this, is that you got down to 233, you rejected lower price, we got the 231 today, and we will have lighter volume. Just barely though on NVIDIA. So the SMHs, let's go to the SMHs. Okay, so we look at the SMHs. There, they get into Monday's low. Too much volume. Yep, too much. So this is not done yet. The SMHs, uh, the high of the low is too, oh, too, that's not bad. No, the high of the low is 262.07. So at 262.07, you got a rejection out here today. We'll see where this baby's going to go. Uh, I heard a number out there this morning, and I don't know the exact number, but I can tell you this. Uh, what the number was is that Buffett does some kind of a deal on um, the amount of capitalization of the stock market versus our GDP. And uh, the bottom line is that still at this point right here where we are, even... After the pullback, the capitalization um, is like over the 2000 capitalization um, by like about 35% right now, you know. So we'll see where it shakes out. Walmart. Let's go take a look at Walmart. Walmart came out with their numbers. Whoops. They're still growing, believe it or not. Yep, that's the, so Walmart's down to 89 cents right now, but guess what? You had wide price spread, accelerated volume on the way up, 
and that that's that's going to hold. That's that wants that wants higher price. Microsoft. We take a look at Microsoft out here. Microsoft right now. Oh, interesting. Look at this. So that's down three and a half bucks. Yeah, this is going after a swing low. Swing low on Microsoft. The top of it is uh, 297. We're 287, and the low there is 276. The, the, the contraction of volume was a monster. Uh, we've taken out the, the swing point from, Friday, from Monday, taken it out with lighter volume. That says you're going to get a rejection of lower price. The real question is, um, where is the lower price? We're going to take a look at the XAU, the H. No, let's do the GDX first, because the GDX right off the bat, we get volume with. Okay, so the GDX, last swing high up here was 35.08. Yesterday we hit 35.11, hit it with volume, back and down. This will probably build cost, because this is 100% move over move. That's what you have here. You know, we, GDX was at 35.01, went all the way down to 28.90, all the way back top side. That's on the daily. If we put this on a weekly, yeah, this is good. We got Okay, so picture the last swing point here was that 33, 19. That was 126 million. You're doing 145. So that says this. This thing is game. It, what's given it a hard time here is the downdraft that was created out here in June. Of last year, that's when we went from 38 to 34, and you had volume behind the move. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. I think Facebook's got it. Yeah, this is a mess. So Facebook's at 205. Look at this. Yeah, Facebook's on its way to like 197 or 205. Netflix, NFLX. We are at... Uh, you're up three. You're at three ninety seven. You're up five eighty. Yeah, this one's lower price too. These, these are just these are just totally overvalued. That's the real bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down two fifty. Nasdaq is off one seventy seven. S and P's off thirty three. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down uh, 170. You get the NASDAQ up 142. S&Ps are off 21. Let's go take a look at the TLT because this baby here, folks, is setting up for another leg down. Now, let's check this out. So we're at, now, okay, first off, the TLT, folks, is the ETF structure for the 20 plus treasury bonds, okay? And what that means specifically is that the 20 year bond itself, okay, that's not it. These are 30 year bonds that have more than 20 years left. That's how, that's how this shakes out. So the low for the year is uh, 137, the high is, uh, no, low is 133, the high is 155. Right now you're at 138.04, and this baby right here, it is pounding, put this, today's up a buck 25. We put this into a two week, I mean, two, a two into a weekly. And what you're gonna see is this. So your last swing low out here was established the week of March 19th of 2021. We had volume out there of 94 million. Well, this week, guess what? You've done 95 million. This is building cause to blow this away. And if that's what we get, let's just look at this. Take this. Make sure it didn't move. Okay, so it did just over a 50% retracement. So you can have an ABC structure down. And if that's what you get, what you're gonna see here is that it's a very large ABC. So it would be 172. It's a 40.8 to be, 39 to be exact. You get uh, 116, and you're at 138. So now let's bring this back and find out where 116 is, because that's the A to B. Now it has it hasn't broken the B point yet, but bottom line is that that's what yeah that's that's where we're going, man. Okay, this is yeah. You get this was where we were, were trading in November of 2018. That's index leg down. Stops don't stop, folks. In the middle, you know we've talked about this many times. Stairs going up, stairs going down. It's very unusual that stocks will stop in the middle and turn around in the middle without basically coming to a landing. That's, that's how, you know, that's just how they work, man. Now, let's go to the XAU, the HUI. We take a look at the XAU, the HUI. So, we can look at the XAU first. Last swing point here. 144, you had 24 million, we came into that with 46, this is good, okay. So, didn't take it out yet, but we're coming into that with good volume. On a weekly basis, you're talking about 149 million and 150 million, so that, that wants to take that out. And as you go back, what you're going to see is that the this, you know what, this is gonna take a little bit to get through, and this is why. Let me pull this up, this is cool to know. Okay, so look at this, whoops, not that one. I'll put this right here, yeah, look at this, whoops, wrong one. Right there, and right there. So, when you take a look at this, folks, you're gonna see that we, you can go from July of 2020, over to oh, a full year, to June of 2021, those folks there have been in a losing position 
since June of 2021. And we're talking February, right? Bottom line, this is building cause. The, the cool thing is, is this. You're, you're going into your swing with volume, but you can see you're gonna clear this whole supply line. It's, this is gonna take a little bit more. We'll go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Oh, this is good. This is the thing. Now, this is what's interesting here. When the Gold Bugs Index, folks, is stronger than the XAU, that is giving you the acceleration that saying that the gold price is going to go higher. And in this particular case, it, it definitely blew it away. Uh, the Gold Bugs Index took out, we did uh, 39 million versus 18 on the daily. Now we'll put this up on a weekly and let's pick the head up. The weekly we needed uh, 117 million, we did 121. And you just need to close up, no, well, this is 280.50. 280, and right now you're at 281. Um, yeah, Barrick, Barrick is strong, man. Barrick, you know, you know what's interesting about Barrick, for any of you folks that have been in the gold market for a long time, you know that Rangold, okay, had been the strongest equity, gold equity, inside the gold market for like almost five or six years. Then Barrick bought them, and then, then it wasn't, okay, because that, uh, guess what? You know, the CEO of Barrick now is Mark Bristow. He's been there a while. Bottom line, we take this. This has had a sweet run this week. There's no doubt about it. And we put this on a weekly, and you're going to see what an expansion of volume. This is going after uh, 2488. They were 2312. Has the volume. Has, this has everything. That's the bottom line. Um, you can see, though, this is, this is intriguing because you're going into the same type of uh, supply line. And... Uh, you know, it's up into that supply line. Look at that. That's that still might be a you know, you still might have some. Uh, yeah, this this still has to build a little more cause. But this is a great indication that we are going higher in a monster way. And of course, the real kicker is going to be how many you know um, rate hikes come and how fast they come, and what is that going to mean for the market? I mean, if you keep things. What, what, what I would suggest you do is this. On paper, take a pencil and a piece of paper and do $100,000. And then when you do $100,000, right? You can do it at a calculator, it doesn't matter. When you do $100,000, then what you do is that you turn around and you put per 1% rate, how much more is that $100? And you're gonna see that the reality is that it gets to be quite a bit of money for every percentage move in the market. And that's what it's about. I mean, because what's going to happen here, folks, is, is people have been talking about the percentages moves. What they haven't been talking about, and this has never happened, by the way, okay? What, it ha what hasn't happened is this, is that we're going to simultaneously, picture something, in 1980, that's, that's, I was basically in the bond market. And what's going to happen here is this. Simultaneously, the Fed is going to stop buying bonds and raise rates. That's a whole different ballgame, man. So who's buying the rest of these bonds? They'll, 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 be, they'll be buyers. There's no doubt about that. We can see the last 10-year you know, auction went good. No doubt about that. That being said, though, the bottom line is you, you can always sell something. It just depends on what is the cost and inside the bond market, it'll be what do the buyers need and what does our buyers want, meaning percentage-wise. We'll find out. Dow Industrials right now up, uh, Dow Industrials down 192. NASDAQ is off 147. S&Ps are off uh, 46. We go into the volume characteristic out here inside the NYSE. Look at this. It's a joke. You're at 679 inside the NYSE, so we're still going to do under a billion. You need to go to the NASDAQ composite, we're at 3.8. That'll, what time is it? That'll do about 4.2. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000. Do you want to make 1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or 7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 232. You get the NASDAQ off 165. S&Ps are off 30. We go back and let's take a look at these uh, ETF structures. We take a look at the SPY first. SPY, we're at 111 million shares. Uh, your swing point from Monday is 123. Does that, we might do 10 million coming into the, uh, the close. That being said, though, guess what? You're really coming into 252. Well, you are coming into 252. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, which is the weakest indice, no doubt. Uh, that's going to finish at its, close, at its lows, uh, just about at its lows anyway. We're at 340, 140, three, uh, no, 339.14. That's still pretty close to its lows, as is it's pretty close to the high volume swing low that wants to test. 334.15 is that high volume swing low. Um, volume's gonna be shot out here today. Um, I don't think it's gonna do 80 million. Uh, let's go do, look at the IWM small caps out here. We have with the small caps. Oh, this is the small caps. They already got destroyed. The small caps, there's no selling in the small caps, man. Monday, we had volume out here of uh, 32, you're doing 32, but that being said, you're going into 53, you're going to 71, and you're going to uh, 85. So you're going to need a lot more volume than that in order to get some real destruction going. Let's go to the euro and the yen so we can get an idea of where we think this dollar may go. If we take a look at the euro, okay, so the euro, 113, yeah, that can back down to the one. 12, the yen, JPY, 
That's up 14 ticks. Well, we'll see if that wants to go to the top of the range again. It hasn't necessarily rejected lower price. It kind of just is meandering around uh, 114 to 115. And then we go look at the British pound. British pound right now, that's trading down 20 ticks. Yeah, that's still staying at the top of the range. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Nine o'clock kicks us off. Great show. Look at them, folks. Building